My father-in-law dropped off this piece to a rocking chair, and he needs one just like it. So he brought me some wood, and I'm going to open up my Copy Crafter wood turning duplicator and see if I can make an exact uh, copy of the wood layer. Luckily, I got enough to have a, some trial and error here. Looks like this is poplar. Should work good. Renewable resource. I got this set up right now. I had to put this in the press, compress it, and then run a tap through it because it wasn't lined up. I'm not sure how that's really attached, except for just pressed in, looks like. But I got this set up. I got my wood mounted. Uh, not really true on center. I didn't do a good job of finding the center. But there's this little pin right here. And then this is the cutter. So the pin just kind of rides against the cutter. And then once it hits that, it will uh, stop it. The problem is that pin isn't going to allow to get the really deep grooves right here, the finer detail. So I'm going to have to go through and finish that up the old fashioned way. All right, because I didn't find my centers very well, I'm going to do a first pass just to kind of true this up here. Um, and then I'll get going and seeing if I could start defining my ends and then go through right here. All right. Well, that didn't work out well at all. All right, let's see if that's better. It's about 30 degrees right now, and I think I'm spending most of my time changing out GoPro batteries. Well, it's my last battery, but I switched the tripod so you could see hopefully a different angle. That doesn't quite look right to me. This one's getting smaller, so that means it must be closer. Try again tomorrow. Day number two. I got a piece of a smaller dowel. I think this is a one inch. Yeah, it's about a one inch dowel. Got the centers marked. I got this adjusted, I think right. I'm gonna try on this and then I'll switch back to that other stock. up with three of them this is the one with the wood that he gave me that I think will be a pretty good match I sawed off the ends and hand sanded this I just used a hand saw with some fine teeth and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I have a stain that's close and I'll do a test on this piece and if it is I'll go ahead and stain it and uh, I think it's a I don't know whether it's some kind of shellac or something on it I don't know if I have that but I should be able to get stained if not, I'll just give it to him with these pieces of wood so that he can run tests on his own. Hope you enjoyed watching. I had a lot of fun using a tool I haven't used before, and now I'm going to clean up my mess. Thanks for watching.